if you're on the brink of separation or divorce, what if walking away from the relationship can actually give you more power and make you even more attractive to your spouse? Well, in today's video, I'm going to explain to you four reasons why walking away can give you more power and really help you to become more attractive to that person. Now, I want to be clear here that none of these points I'm going to be talking about here are utilizing any manipulation tactics. I don't believe in any of that. It's really, really important to be authentic and to be real and to create shifts that are actually going to stand the test of time and not just something that you're just going to get a quick win or a quick fix of any sort. So the first reason why walking away gives you power and makes you more attractive is because you establish self-respect and you establish the right boundaries. You see, so many times I hear from women who constantly relax their boundaries way too much. They let them get away with treating them poorly in terms of communication and so on. And it's really important to elevate those standards and actually say, you know what? If my husband or partner is not going to communicate to me like this, if he's not going to speak to me in a nice way, if he's not going to act in ways that are with integrity and so on, then I'm not sure if I see a place for this man in my life anymore. Now that might sound overly harsh, but I really believe in elevating standards. I believe in not letting levels of mediocrity to come into a relationship. Relationships don't have to be that way. It is so important to elevate that and say, you know what, I want a man with integrity. I want someone who's actually going to be kind to me and not belittle me all the time. I want someone who's actually going to treat me with respect. And you've got to set those standards because if you don't, then there's a good chance that boundaries will end up getting blurred and he might say a couple of things, know he can get away with some of those things and continue on that train. And he may not even be aware of it sometimes, but you've got to actually elevate those standards. And if you're finding that you're actually not getting treated in the way that you want to be treated, then that may be a situation where you say, you know what, this has been going on for long enough. I need to have that conversation with him. I need to speak my truth. If he's not prepared to step up, then I'm not prepared to stay around in a relationship that's no longer serving me at the highest level. And so that's where walking away can actually give you that power and give him the space to be able to realize, you know what, I actually think I've made the biggest mistake. And then if he does come back, it allows you guys to have some positive conversations to be able to set the right boundaries. And if you can actually set some really good standards within yourself and make this almost like a new identity, then you're going to apply that beautifully right across the board. And I promise you, you're going to have a whole new level of empowerment that's going to transform how you feel on the inside and is then going to be reflected externally. Secondly, walking away helps you to gain emotional independence. When you actually recognize that a relationship is a part of your life, but not your whole life, and you know you've got things outside of the relationship, it helps you to find greater balance emotionally. Too many people attach themselves so much to their relationship. And so if they've had a difficult conversation with their partner, what ends up happening is their whole world is just turned upside down in the moment. It completely drags them down emotionally. And that's effectively saying what that person does or says determines how we actually feel. And if your happiness is completely in the hands of your spouse, then you're going to have real problems. You can have real challenges in your relationship and just your life in general. And because relationships tend to be the centerpiece of one's life, if you've had a bad day with your spouse, then you go to work, you can't concentrate, you can't focus, you don't really want to go and do the things that bring you joy anymore because you want to just resolve that one area. But if you can actually recognize that you have the capacity within you to be able to shift how you feel emotionally and mentally, by changing that, by changing the way you think, by changing and shifting the way you feel, then you can actually be independent of that relationship. Now look, we're all human. I'm not expecting you to become a robot and be like, well, he can say whatever he likes and it just doesn't bother me anymore. You know, we're human beings. Of course, we're going to have negative emotions from time to time. I've got no problems with that. But it's when it's pushed to the other extreme and when your entire sense of being, your entire sense of self is completely attached to that person. If you end up coming from that angle, it's going to cause a lot of problems for you. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be free. I want you to be radiant. I want you to be joyful in your life and not feel like your joy and your happiness is completely dictated by how he treats you. 
And even if the relationship hasn't been going well and you decide to walk away, he's going to feel that at a deeper emotional level. Why? Because any person that has something, even if it's not even an enjoyable thing and it's been taken away, we want to grab hold of it. We want to cling on for dear life. And so that's why it can often give you more power because you've then elevated yourself and said, you know what, I don't want to tolerate this anymore. I have my own emotional independence and I'm willing to take the necessary steps that I need to to live a life of joy and happiness. And because he's going to observe that, there's a good chance he's going to actually see that and go, okay, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I let her go. I want to fight for her. I want to make this work and so on. And then from there, you can actually have some productive conversations. Thirdly, walking away helps you to engage and activate the law of detachment. Now, the law of detachment basically states that in order to acquire the very thing that you want, you have to give up your attachment to that very thing. Now, that sounds a little bit strange because so often we want something really badly and we're almost conditioned in society to think you've got to really, really fight for it. You've got to want it really badly. But in my experience and all my clients' experience, when you want something really, really badly, you're coming from fear. When you're coming from fear, you don't have faith. When you don't have faith, you don't take the necessary actions that you need to engage in in order to attract the very thing that you want. So a big part of this journey, if you're in a difficult relationship and you say, look, these are my standards, this is what I want in my relationship now, and this person is no longer able to do that or doesn't show the signs that they're capable of it, then what you're saying is, if you decide to walk away at that point, you say, I'm actually going to be okay if I walk away. I'm scared, yep. I'm worried, don't know what the future holds. But you know what? I'm going to be okay. And when you hold that energy of, I know I'm going to be okay, not only does it make you more attractive to that particular person, because as I said before, when something's taken away from us, we, we find it hard to, to let go of that thing, so we cling on for dear life. So not only are you becoming more attractive to that person, but you're also allowing the universe or God or whatever you subscribe to to support you to get the very thing that you actually want. If you desire a relationship where you're cherished and you're loved and it's healthy and there's just a really good balance there and there's growth opportunities and so on, then the universe God will support you on that path because you're taking action and I've always believed that the universe loves it when you take action. We have to take action, then we get reward. If we sit around and do the very same things over and over and expect different results, well, that is the definition of insanity according to Einstein. So engaging in the law of detachment, activating it can really help you to experience some major shifts in your relationship and your life. And finally, walking away enables a resilience and a growth mindset. See, in order to get to that place where you are willing to walk away from something and be willing to accept whatever costs there are associated with on all, on all levels, you must have experienced some form of personal growth, some realization, some awakening. And when you look inwardly and you make a commitment to identify what are my values, what are my desires, what are my beliefs, what old childhood patterns am I running in this relationship? Is this healthy for me anymore? All these sorts of things, if you start to explore these kinds of questions, then you're enabling that growth mindset. And that, in turn, gives you the power and the strength to start facing your fears head on, to confront them at the deepest level. And that gives you the strength and the courage to be able to walk away, to be able to say, look, I don't want to tolerate this anymore. I deserve more. I am truly prepared to go down a path of happiness and joy. And that mindset of personal growth and personal development where you know, an individual is truly committed to wanting to grow and develop and be the very best version of themselves, the spouse often looks at that and thinks, wow, this is incredible. Like She is amazing. He is amazing. Whoever it is that you're referring to, that person is incredible because they're wanting to take their life to a different level. And partners want to be a part of that. They want to see their spouse growing and developing. It's something really, really attractive. And so by creating these shifts, you're showing that you're capable of adapting. And once again, you're raising those standards. And as you raise those standards, that can be really, really attractive for the partner 
who is on the receiving end of you walking away. That can be a really, really challenging thing to deal with, but it can open up the doors for things to start moving forward in a beautiful way, to have some productive conversations so no matter what, you're making the best decision for your future and for the future of all those concerned. Now, I hope all these points make sense. If you've got any questions at all, make sure you write them below. I always love hearing the comments and the questions. And, you know, I really encourage you, no matter what, to really, really focus on your own internal growth because internal transformation always leads to external transformation. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, make sure you hit that like button below. If you want to get more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And what I encourage you to do now is if you are in a really difficult place and you're trying to muster up the strength and the courage to do some of that internal work and the personal development and so on. The next video I'd encourage you to watch is this one below where I'm gonna talk you through some strategies about how to shift at the emotional level. When you shift at the emotional level, then that can really create some massive changes on the external level. So thank you so much, God bless, and I'll talk to you in the next video.